This video is about tutorial 3. It's the text explode, sorry, tutorial 4, text explode. And I have my Word document open here. I also have Flash open and I've set my canvas to uh, 300 to 250 and I've made the background blue. I'm now going to hit T so that I can type text. I've made my font size 80, the color yellow, and I'm going to type B O O M. Whoops, I'm not going to write 00. There we go. Now I'm going to center this. Go up here. It's selected. Modify. Align. Horizontal center. I notice the shortcut is Control Alt 2, and the shortcut for a vertical center is Control Alt 5. So Control Alt 5, and we have it centered. Now we won't be able to make our um, multiple tweens, motion tweens, with the uh, image all in one like this. So I'm going to right click and break apart. I could also do it up here, modify, break, uh, break apart, control B. Uh, I'm going to also right click and distribute to layers so that I have a different letter on each layer. I can hear this is the visible and if I make them non-visible I can see what's happening. I need to go to these one at a time so I'm going to click away, click on here, hit F8 and save it as an image. GR underscore capital B. Okay. O and I can convert to symbol here as well GR underscore O1 OK and then I've got GR underscore GR underscore O2 enter and the last one is going to be F sorry F8 and GR underscore and it's a capital no it's a lowercase m so I've got the symbols which I can see here in the library yeah, if I need to do them now let's go back and have a look at our document we have done that we've done the separation we've now created each letter on a different layer and to animate we are going to connect make each letter a symbol we have done that so we're right down here animate a letter each letter will be stationary for a period and so that'll be up to frame 13 so I'm going to insert a keyframe at 13 for each of these F6 is the shortcut so I could go frame 13 and insert keyframe but quicker than that I can just do F6 F6, F6. Let's run along and we will see that nothing is happening up to there. Then for each we are going to animate a letter. Alt tab gets me back to my instructions. Um, now I'm going to select frame 30, add frames to uh, F5 and insert a motion tween. So frame 30, I'm going to, I would think I need to add a, a keyframe. Let's just see, uh, I'm going to create a motion tween. And let's see if we can actually, we'll click on here. We will move our M somewhere out here. Uh, let's just see if that's moving. No, it's not moving. Let's try it again remove the tween let's create a motion tween we've got problems it's jumping at the end so I've got not uh, my motion tween is not happening uh, certainly I've had this problem before uh, let's just remove the frames uh, let's make that a normal insert frame and here let's uh, remove
with the tween. Now let's create the tween, create a motion tween. And so we have a motion tween going there. Now I'm going to get on the final frame. I'm on the final frame, there we go. I'm going to move that up to there and we'll see if we have got, ah yes, now we've got a steady motion. Okay, now if we click here on our properties, we can do some tricky things. We can rotate this one time and let's just see what happens now. There we go. Uh, Alright, now we can do that with our various options. Now, this is a tween which is just doing a motion. Uh, so I, really I should have that tween as doing all the different uh, things like a I'll just try here, uh, insert keyframe, all, and let's see if that still works. Yes, that's still the same. And now I think I can go onto that final frame, and I should be able to get our color effect uh, alpha, and drop the alpha right down, and so we have got our M fading out. We're going to do exactly the same thing now with all of the remaining insert keyframe. Ah, problem with Control Z. Let's just insert a frame. What's the shortcut for that? I think it might be F5. Yes, there we go. I'm going to go insert frame F5, insert frame F5. Let's go now create motion tween create motion tween, create motion tween, and let's create our keyframe at the end here. Insert keyframe, all. And now we can get this O, we can throw it up there. This one we could run on a real loop like that. We can rotate it, position, color effect, uh, let's fade that out. Oh, let's do brightness this time and make it really bright. Okay, so we've got a color effect that way. Position. Let's run it. I've got two things happening, so it's good now. Since the M is done, I'm going to cut out the M and I can see what's happening to my O. I'd like to get some rotation in there as well, except I just can't quite figure out how to get that rotation. Uh, why haven't I got that? Let's just go here. Ease. You know what we can do also is the ease. Let's just say 5. And what that'll do is make it faster or slower at the end. So, uh, hard to see here. I might make it 5 out. Let's just make it 10, see if it's a little bit clearer. Tab, and uh, it should go slow. You, this is more, uh, I can't really see the effect. This is more relevant when we have a bouncing ball, which slows down near the top. So let's not worry too much about the ease, the path. Now I can't see how to do the fade, so let's go on this one now, let's leave that one there, go here, let's bring our final, uh, no sorry, let's do a keyframe, right click, keyframe all, and bring our O down here, and I might loop that way over there. Now I've just got to get that option where I have the color effect. Here we go. Color effect, alpha. Yeah, let's make that about there. And rotation. I'm not sure where I find my rotation. Maybe I go back to here. And do I get rotation? Rotation. Let's do two. And let's do the direction 
counterclockwise. Okay, one letter to go. And uh, we've got the B, so I'm going to make that invisible now. What will we do with our B? Um, I guess we can come down to, well, let's go right off the screen with the B, right off the stage. Uh, let's take it up over here and let's do some rotating. Maybe we have to go back here for the rotating. Uh, three times and we can do that clockwise yeah uh, orient to the path not quite sure what that does direction let's see what that does ah oh, clever okay let's do that and you'll notice that that's now made it rather than a, a straight tween it's virtually made it a cell based tween lots of different cells in there. Alright, so let's make all of this visible, see what's happening, nothing, and then, boom. Okay, let's run it. We haven't saved a document. File, save as, and we are in, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm saving in tutorial 4, text explode. This one is not CS4, this one is CS5.5. I don't like putting, whoops, escape, uh, file, save as, uh, tutorial 4, tutorial 4, here, CS5.5. I'm just going to do 5.5 five because I don't like having points in my name. Uh, I'm also going to use camel case and that allows me, I don't like spaces in names ever and camel case we have high, low, 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 high, that's why we call it camel case. Save. Then I'm going to do control enter and run the SWF. Oh, look at that. Okay. And that's it. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to, on the top layer, I'm going to create a frame, insert frame, and there are frames all the way along there. So here, I'm just going to put my name, uh, so T for text, I'm going to make that oh, 12, and just going to write a little, yeah, so that we know it's mine. Now let's see what happens here. That just stays there throughout. So that's the concept of layers, control enter. That's the concept of layers that you have with Flash or Photoshop or any of the, uh, or Audacity, any of the editing that we're going to do in this course.